In this video, I'm going to demonstrate two new features of the just released AirNet version 1.1. Those two features are real-time download and download exec. Real-time download allows you to transfer images from the camera as soon as you take them versus the normal operating mode where AirNet will only transfer images that are already on the camera. The download exec feature allows you to launch an application of your choice for every image that you download, for instance, your preferred image viewer. So for the real-time download, there's three selectable options. The first and the default is none, which means AirNet will only transfer images that are already on the camera. There's a normal download then real-time, which means it'll transfer all the images on the camera per your criteria, and then switch to a real-time mode to transfer any new images you take while AirNet is running. And then there's an only real-time download mode where AirNet will only transfer images you take while AirNet is running. So I'll go ahead and hit start download, and you can see here I'm connected to my D7200, and it's immediately available to receive images from the camera. So I'll go ahead and take a picture. And I have the camera set up for JPEG mode, although this works for RAWs as well. And you can see here immediately the image has been transferred to the system, as well as the download exec feature has been utilized to launch an image viewer for that image that just got transferred. In this case, I'm using the Fast Done Image Viewer, which is available free online. No matter how many pictures you take, AirNF is going to constantly pull the camera every time it detects that the new image is available and immediately download it and then launch the application of your choice. In this case, it's a picture of the same item, so you're not going to see the image changed, but I'll go ahead and close that window so you can see a new image being taken. I've designed this feature so that it works even on cameras that don't support taking photographs while the Wi-Fi mode is enabled. For instance, none of the Sony cameras allow you to take photographs while it's in the center computer mode, which is the mode that AirNF uses to transfer images off of Sony cameras. So I'll demonstrate this on my D7200, even though the D7200 does support that mode. And the way this is gonna work is you're gonna turn off Wi-Fi on the camera, and then this is while AirNF is running. AirNF is designed so that no matter what you do with the camera, whether Wi-Fi is enabled or not, AirNF, while it's in the real-time download mode, is always ready to connect to the camera and transfer any images that you've taken since the last time AirNF was able to communicate with the camera. So you can see here, I've turned off Wi-Fi. This could be any camera. This could be a Sony. In this case, it's just an icon. Go ahead and take a picture. Now, Wi-Fi is still disabled, so AirNF is not aware that there's any new images available to transfer. And you can take any number of pictures. I'll go ahead and take two more. Now we have three pictures we've taken since AirNF has last connected to the camera. I'll go ahead and turn Wi-Fi back on. And it's going to take a while for the system to recognize that the network's available. There you can see it's connecting. Now it's connected, so the next time AirNF pulls the camera, it should find it. So you can see here it's found the camera and it's detected that there's three new images available and it's downloaded all of them instantly. And now you can repeat this process any number of times. I can go ahead and turn Wi-Fi back off and close out my image viewer here. Every time you turn Wi-Fi off, AirNF is gonna detect that the camera is no longer available and re-enter its connection waiting loop. So I'll go ahead and take another picture, turn Wi-Fi back on, Wait for the connection to come back. As soon as AirNF reconnects to the camera, again, it'll find which images have been taken since it last was able to talk to the camera and download those images. This works very well for cameras that don't support the real-time mode because obviously you can take all your pictures, transfer them when you're ready to by turning Wi-Fi on and then turning Wi-Fi back off, all without having to do any intervention on the computer side. So you can be shooting without any concern for what's going on with AirNet. And this also works for cameras that support real-time transfers as well. For instance, on Nikon, they won't let you delete images while the Wi-Fi is enabled. So if I go ahead and go into image preview and I attempt to delete an image, you can see here that Nikon won't let you do that while Wi-Fi is enabled and there's a wireless client connected to it, in this case, AirNet. Let's say you want to take a bunch of pictures, but you're not necessarily sure you want to transfer each image that you take. What you can do is you can turn the Wi-Fi off, which will re-enable the delete function. And now you can take any number of pictures while Wi-Fi is off, delete the ones you don't want, then turn Wi-Fi back on, and AirNF will transfer all the new images that you've taken, minus the ones you've deleted, since those won't be presented to AirNF as available. 